Well, come in and introduce yourself. Um, I know Yafi from the uh, Lisa Royale's retreat. You may have seen her at the end of uh, the latest, the contact uh, episode. She gave a little testimonial um, to, um, to that, to that experience. I've been focusing on the channeling part in the last two years of my life, really, really focusing. And I've channeled before, but it, it was never a priority for me. It was just a part of, of I guess, the psychic spectrum, the intuitive spectrum. Mm -hmm. uh, but in the last two years, thanks to Lisa and many people bringing Lisa into my life, actually, um, I focus on channeling. And my main connections, my main sources are different earth energies and elements and uh, spe certain specific guides. One of them is Hathor. Mm -hmm. um, you may have no, you may have heard of Hathor when she first, I say she, when they channel, they always refer to themselves as we, mm -hmm. <laughs> but uh, through me, she is, uh, she comes through as a divine feminine. So I always refer to her as she, because she's so flowy and so feminine. So mm -hmm. I experience it more as a she. Sure. Yeah. So, but when she came to me, I had no idea what, who Hathor was. It actually sounded like a very masculine name to me, Hathor. It, it almost sounded like a warrior name. <laughs> right, so right. I, I, I definitely didn't know what to expect. It was a total surprise. And I resonated with her energy immediately. And she became one of my regular guides. And that was about two years ago. So it's mm -hmm. been about two years that I've been channeling, I would say several times a week. <laughs> wow. I really dove into it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> wow wow okay uh well cool is what is your process to get into channeling what is that like so i do have an invocation that we came up with during the training since then it changed a little bit it's actually really short i would love to share it with you it, yeah. i think it will tell you maybe even a little bit about my process but like i said it's really really short okay. so i to invite the energies, I say, I used to say it out loud, now I usually say it inside, but it can go either way. I play in love and light. I open to, and then Hathor, now. Mm -hmm. So I play in love and light. So first of all, when you, especially when you train and you, you learn a new skill, mm -hmm. um, it can get too serious, too severe. It can get, you know, intense really quickly. And then when you talk about self work and ego work sure, sure, and sure. Yeah. so that whole idea of start starting with i play mm -hmm. i put myself in the state of mind that this is play this is fun we're all playing together so right. i play in love and light the second part love and light these are the only realms i'm interested in these are the mm -hmm. only realms i play with and in within and it doesn't leave any opening to anything else and then i open to and whatever the source that i'm calling in and it's been amazing what a wide variety of sources can come through, whether it's different ET groups or different guides. So for example, the first two guides that came to me regularly are Jesus and Hathor. Now, I am I grew up in Israel. <laughs> right. I, I did not know anything about Jesus, even things that here are like common sense. I just didn't know. So, so sure. both Hathor and Jesus were such like foreign concepts and foreign guides to come to me. It was so strange to me right. at the time. But it was just a part, of course, of the opening process and just being open to different things. Wow. Okay. Um, that's the then uh, wondering about questions. Um, is it okay to get into uh, like history and that kind of things? Or should we just keep it more light? Or does it matter? No, you can ask whatever you want. Now, okay. my knowledge is very limited. Um, mm -hmm. I'm not good with mythology. I've never been particularly interested in history. I've always been very future oriented, present and future. Mm -hmm. So I actually have kind of a lack of knowledge. However, they seem to be able to address a variety of things that I know nothing about. And fortunately, there's enough that I do know about, especially about like spirituality and growth that it works. <laughs> so okay. yes, questions can be and are often personal, global, cosmic, whatever comes to mind. All right. That was super cool. Hi, everyone. Hello, hello. Yeah. Are, are you able to come back pretty, pretty easy and, you know, kind of 
adjust to to normal world here. <laughs> I'm, I'm like I'm a little spacey, sure. but I'm like I think eighty percent back within yeah. seconds, and the twenty okay. percent does take a little longer. Gotcha, gotcha. What, do you go anywhere when when they're there, or do you um, are you pretty present mm. when when they come through? You see, it's a good question. I used to think I'm super present and then I realize I'm just not assessing it right because it feels like I'm really present inside, mm -hmm. but it is inside. So from my experience, I turn inward and the more inward I turn, the more I can join this flow that comes through me. So mm -hmm. I feel like I'm always aware of what's happening but I'm somewhere deep inside. So for example, right now, it's very hard for me to bring to memory what was said, even though it was just said. So it's very similar to a dream. When you just wake up from a dream and you kind of have an idea what happened in the dream. And if you take time to retrieve it, it becomes much more vivid and detailed. But if you just get up and think about something else, it will kind of fade away. Unless again, somebody asks you about it or something triggers it. So it's very similar. So I feel like I'm always present, but the memory is not as easily accessible as conversations that are taking place in the waking alert state. Gotcha. Yeah, that's that's the, the funny part about this. And I guess it's better than, you know, like Daryl or Rob that just completely black out and have no idea what's being said. <laughs> So, um, well, it's super cool. Um, and yeah, the, the Hathor energy, it's, it's, uh, I've connected with it a few times and, uh, you're just, you're a very clear channel for it. So thank you. Oh, thank you. My yeah. pleasure.